Are you about to have a final walkthrough to buy your next home? Well, watch this short video to prepare yourself on what to expect. Hi, I'm Blake Davenport with the Davenport Group. I'm a local realtor in the DC metro area, here to share with you short and simple real estate tips. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the final walkthrough and what you should expect. So when I say final walkthrough, typically uh, before you buy a home at closing or settlement, you do a final walkthrough a couple days before closing or settlement to make sure that the home is in the same condition as it was during the home inspection or say the date of the offer. It just depends what you put on the sales contract. So uh, the final walkthrough typically takes around an hour. The whole point of it is, as I was saying before, just make sure everything's in the same condition so we're going to be running all the appliances, the dishwasher, the washer and dryer, uh, depending upon the time of year, we're going to run the heating or cooling just to make sure everything works because that's the last chance that you can kind of rebuttal and go back to the seller and ask for things to be fixed if something is broken. And because after closing, if you move in and you're like, oh my God, the dishwasher doesn't break, there's really no recourse. So we just want to make sure we do a very thorough job at the final walkthrough to make sure everything's in working order. Also, depending upon the type of home inspection that you had if there was for negotiation they had agreed to uh, fix certain items we don't want to make sure that those items were fixed beforehand and typically they have to give us receipts of the the paid contractors that they use to make the repairs so we would just want to make sure that all those things have taken place because especially if the home is vacant and it's been sitting for a month and it really hasn't been used things kind of break. I've had home uh, or final walkthroughs where we ran the dishwasher, uh, we were walking throughout, everything seemed good. We were about to head out the door and, and the client noticed that there was a puddle uh, coming from the dishwasher and we realized that the seal was broken and the mechanism uh, was broken that was preventing the water from stopping. So it ended up flooding and we ended up having to get a, a new dishwasher that night uh, so that the buyer saved $700 because we got a new dishwasher. So that's, that's the importance of a final walkthrough. Typically we do final walkthroughs about two days prior to closing. The reason why I don't like to do it the day before closing because if there is an issue that arises, it gives us some time to fix those items. If we do it, some agents do it the day before or the morning of the settlement. If there's an issue, it really doesn't allow for you to time to make that fix. So that's why we do it two days before. As I was saying, it takes about an hour. Uh, this also can be an opportunity to take some measurements if you haven't done already, so maybe some furniture or this or that. But again, we just want to run all the systems and make sure everything's working be very thorough uh, make sure everything's in the same condition if the the unit was occupied so when you bought it someone was still living there the owner was still living there and there was a furniture and paintings and things like that we want to make sure they did a good job and uh, moved all the furniture out without damaging any of the walls or this or that do expect that uh, you know in this area it's just standard that the space is broom swept and clean so it's not going to be it might not be immaculate but as long as it's clean and there's no trash or debris left, and that's all that the seller has to do. Also, if there are paintings in the wall, expect there to be nail holes. Uh, maybe the, uh, some will paint it over. It just really depends, but it's of the understanding that since there was paintings there, that you were under the understanding that there are gonna be nail holes. So it doesn't have to be perfectly painted. Uh, that's just the standard in this area, but just expect that moving forward. All right, to recap, a final walkthrough happens two days before closing. Basically, we're there to make sure that everything is in the same working order as it was during the date of the offer or the date of the inspection. If you had a home inspection for negotiation purposes, we're looking for things uh, to be fixed. Uh, if there's some issues that arise, we'll take care of it with the listing agent and make sure that it either gets fixed or you get compensated for that. So keep an open mind. It takes about an hour, uh, but that's you know, really what a final walkthrough is. If you like this video, cl please click the like icon. Also drop us a comment if you have a question or you thought uh, this video was good. Please click the, the subscribe button or the bell icon to be notified of our next video. But thanks again for checking out this real estate tip on the final walkthrough. Let's go, let's go.